still get our arm three of the charges. Come on, kid, quit screwing around. We haven't armed all the charges yet. There should be only two left. Nate, we still gotta arm the explosives, remember? Okay, that's all. Now let's go pay Mr. Lazarvich a visit. Can't reach us. Come on over here. I'll give you a boost. All right. Come on, gorgeous. Jump up. Yep. Uh, oh. uh, great ass, Sully. Uh, thanks. There you go, kid. All right. Ooh, that must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. Looks deserted. Pop is down uh, again. The damn thing is always breaking down. Come on, let's just fix it so we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. Well, not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe... Uh! <laughs> Follow the hose, we find the camp. You always follow the hose. Just like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget that, are you?
think I see the camp up ahead. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months, and you have found nothing. Well, 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 now, wait wait a minute. We've been... Commander! That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. <laughs> I'm surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruined this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Sniper rifle up here. Careful, Nate. Looks like they left a couple of sentries behind. Okay, kid. It's showtime. This Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo was he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. 
We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, crap! Spread out! Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Nate. Well, that's you convenient. Spread out! <laughs> 